What's up, everybody, and welcome back to your favorite game show, Spectating Warzone Souls. I'm your host, Philip Chandler. Today, we're spectating Chad. Dang Chad, 6934558. He has a pretty good game so far. He's rocking three kills, one spectator, 110 people left. This man, Chad, looks to be having a good game here. Now, I hope we can see some pretty cool action. Uh, we are in, like, a 0 KD lobby, so... Yeah, it's probably not going to be some good action at all, but... Uh, who knows? Hopefully we get some good action from my man Chad here. Um, Chad's been hitting up some frat parties. I was talking to him earlier before he hopped in this game. He was hitting some frat parties earlier, so he is pretty... Uh, he's, he's lit right now. He's lit right now, you know? So he is going pretty crazy right now. Um, three kills. I don't know how he's gotten three kills. When I last talked to him about 30 minutes ago before we hopped into this game, he was faded than a hoe. So who knows? If he, this man is even going to get some kills. I'm, he's probably not going to. But I mean, at least we can spectate this out and see if he can. He has eyes on somebody. He sees him. Does he, will he take the shot? He probably can't even walk straight. So he's probably going to wait to pull up on him. He's pulling up. He takes him out. He takes Husker for life. 12 out. Chad with four kills now into this game. Chad, you're doing pretty good, man. Any words? Yo, what's goody, gang? You already know we finna win this shit for real, for real. All right. Great talking to you, Chad. Now, as we just talked to Chad, you know, he's uh, he's planning on getting this win here. Um, so, we're going to see if we can actually come out with a dub. I highly doubt he can. Um, but he's got four kills. He's doing ten times better than I even thought this man could even do. So, I, I'm totally wrong in this situation. He could come out on top here with a hundred kill win. Who knows? I don't know. He probably might win this game. He's going crazy so far. So, who knows? Looks like Chad's playing this a little bit slow here. He's, um going off to a bit of a, a fast start pace of a game with four kills you know he's dropping in getting the kills having the spectators man but he you now he's taking a slow approach the rest of the game trying to get uh you know a bit of a relaxation into the rest of the game loot up a little bit you know get some loot so he can uh he can come out on top like he, he's planning on it's hard to see much in these glasses so i'm gonna pass this to our our person on the side we have a person inside oh hold up chad's coming up on somebody takes diggity o2 out takes diggity o2 sorry that looked like something else for a second i did not want to say that word diggity o2 are you kidding me let's go he took out diggity o2 um like i was just saying though these glasses are so dark i can barely see anything right now i'm gonna pass us to our person that we have on the sidelines in this battlefield right now we have three people on the sidelines right now but i'm passing you off to luke beard on the sidelines luke on to you Thank you, Philip. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Luke Beard, guys. We're on the sidelines, spectating Chad right here. My man is still looting. Um, you know, Philip. I, I like that you got a little interview with him. Um, we got to hear kind of what he was thinking in this game. So hopefully he's gonna win this game. He wanted to come out on top, but um, yeah, you know, he's been at frat parties like I like you said earlier. Um, I was actually at one with him. Uh, I believe it was last weekend. Last weekend we were going crazy. Um, my man Chad here is actually the best person at ping pong. You would not even believe it. Um, beer pong specifically. We're gonna say ping pong to keep it a uh, PG for the kids. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna keep it PG for the kids. But he's gonna he's pretty good at ping pong if you know what I mean. Um, wink, wink. But yeah, I think Chad might be able to come on top here. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. He's uh he's been doing pretty good at the frat parties. Um, I think he he went down. He's shotgun at least 20. 20 is that is that a world record? Hold up. Yeah, I'm getting worried. I'm getting worried. 23. 23 beers we had. It was actually White Claws. Yeah, Chad, Chad likes the White Claws, not the beers. Chad shotgunned 23 White Claws at the frat party last weekend. This guy is crazy. You would not even believe how crazy Chad is. Chad's using his heartbeat sensor. I don't know why he's using a heartbeat sensor, but yeah. Um, there's not much going on down here in the battlefield. Uh, we're on the sidelines of the fight right now. 73 people left. Chad has five kills, actually. Ran in the diggity just a second ago. Took him out. And he's still using a heartbeat sensor for no reason. Just walking around trying to loot. I, I mean, I understand. I get it. I get it. You know, he's trying to loot up for the game so he can have enough stuff and hopefully come on, on top. But who knows? Who knows if he's actually going to win this game? I'm hoping he can, though, because... 23 White Claws should have this guy piped up right now. Still using a heartbeat sensor. What you looking at on there, Chad? Let's get a little bit inside world with Chad. What you looking at on there, buddy? This match Loki boring as hell Loki for real for real on God. So I took a second to look at some of my chick's nudes. You know you know for real on God. All right, well, as you can see, uh, Chad is... Uh, I thought he was using a heartbeat sensor to figure out what people are. Not at all. We're going to keep it PG, though. So, Chad, uh, <laughs> don't say anything like that ever again, Chad. Just so you know. Um, thanks, Chad, for the little... Uh, 
Oh, stop. Keep it away, okay? Keep keep the heartbeat sensor. We're gonna call it heartbeat. Keep it away. Keep it away, man. We're, we don't want that out. We, we're trying to trying to see the win here. I, Chad, if you don't, if you take that out one more time, I'm gonna have to go crazy on you, man. I'm sorry, but we, we can't have that. We have that. I'm about to get fired if you keep doing this, bro. I, we can't have that on the job. We can't have that on the job. My man, Chad. I think the White Claws are getting to him. He He's... Oh, man. Yeah. The White Claws are definitely getting to him. Somebody just drove up in a 2001 Honda Civic outside. Just flew a drone at him. And we have two people outside now. Very, very curious what in the heck is going on and who flew that drone in. I know his friend uh, Brad over here actually owns a really cool like $700 drone. It's freaking insane, bro. So I bet you Brad's probably spying on him right now because Brad's pretty jealous because... Uh, Chad stole Brad's ex-girlfriend. He's kind of jealous. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go into any more death than that. But bro, Brad. Brad is pretty. Pretty jealous right now. He's pretty jealous of Chad. So uh, I think he's spying on with that drone, trying to see what he's doing. He's gonna swap out the SPR for the SPR. All right. Good. Good move by Chad here. I can't really see the point of that, but Chad can. Chad, and I haven't shotgun 23 white claws, and Chad has. So Chad. Chad knows what's up. Oh, we got fighting going on to the left over here. He's going to look at the heartbeat sensor again, Chad. Remember, I said put that away, buddy. We can't have that going on here. Why don't you push into the fight, Chad? Right there, right in front of you. Misses a shot completely. Looks like his uh, equilibrium is a little bit still off. See if he can... Uh... I don't think he's going to be able to get any shots off here. I don't think he's going to get any shots off. He's going to completely whiff all of his shots. Still here shooting going on. Um, trying to get on top of the building, I guess, to get a little bit of leverage to see what's, what's popping down below him. Um... Still no point. Oh, he's getting sniped at. Looking the completely wrong way of where that snipe just came from. It was actually below him on the roof. Uh, I don't know if he saw the guy that was down there, but he is pretty much dead, Chad. You better... Yep, Chad, you better hide. You better get away, Chad. Um, good job, good job. He gets away. Somehow gets away alive. Um, but I have a feeling it's not going to be for long until uh, Mr. Brad calls in his, his buddies and come to kill Chad because he's jealous. Um, this happens all the time. This is not the first time this has happened, but uh, yeah. Oh man, he's got he's got somebody on him right now. Is he gonna place the cluster mine? What a what a bold move! Now whoever is in this building with him knows he's not gonna drop down because he just heard cluster mine in the area. Not gonna hop down. Smart move though. I see what I see what he was kind of going for, but uh, <laughs> yeah, smart move, Chad. Smart move, Chad. Looks like he's still playing a little bit slow. Not much going on the sidelines. So Philip, I'm gonna kick it back to you, man. All right, thank you, Luke, for that inside on the battlefield, on the sidelines. I really appreciate it. We got some uh, some good intel on what's going on in the match right now. And a little bit about Chad, man, because it's cool to learn about the people that we're watching on here because not only do you get to kind of see what kind of people they are, but you also can see uh, see their, their gameplay and their style and uh, how they go into war here. So um, Chad's a pretty good candidate. I'm um, not really sure if he's going to come on top here, but... Very interested to see. Very interested to see how this game's gonna go. It's been a very, very, very fast-paced start. Uh, he hot dropped and got five kills, and now he's playing very slow. Right in front of him, he hit the shots, but unfortunately gets taken down by his competitor over here. And Chad is out of the game. We got Nada Vrasba, 2011. Looks like he just got killed by an 11-year-old. Chad, that is pretty sad, man. I knew to be pretty low, but that's low. To get killed by an 11 year old man imagine getting killed by an 11 year old in this game honestly chad you should probably just go to the shotgunning beers go go back to the white claws man don't even don't even don't even touch this game anymore go back to the white claws this is not this is just a, a whole nother low for you man 11 year old just killed you we're just gonna call this guy Nada because I don't know how to say his full name, but we got my man Nada here with one kill. That was his first kill. First kill of the game with 38 people left. He's gonna sit here and camp this corner. This is gonna be a very slow paced style game. So, I know we were talking about Brad just a second ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to Brad that's on the sidelines right now. And let's see if we can get some more intel on my boy Nada here. Alright boys, it's Brad here. Thank you so much, Philip, for passing on to me. It's been a very slow game down here, if you know what I mean. So it's nice to have a little bit of action with my boy Nada here. Now Nada, I've been I've been good friends with Nada for a while now. Um He's not that good. Um he likes to play very slow paced, but he sometimes gets for the win. Um he really likes playing slow for the win, doesn't like the uh the adrenaline that comes for the the game. He hates the adrenaline. Just likes playing chill back, kinda of fighting when he has to and not when he wants to. 
Um, getting shot at actually right now. Um, surprisingly, he is not going to contest that. Just like how he usually does. He's going to set back and set on top of the roof next to his deployable cover. He's got to move in 8 seconds here. There he goes. Nada moving in. Um, yeah, Nada is... He's the guy that goes to the frat parties with us and uh, he does not drink at all. All he drinks is uh, apple cider actually. So yeah, Nada's a bit of a... Uh, Low life, if you know what I mean. He doesn't like the drinking, the, the, the smokies, you know, the drinkies and the smokies. He doesn't go for that. Nah, mm -mm. not as more the uh, the apple cider guy, which is kind of weird because like we never have apple cider, so he brings the apple cider. Very very strange guy, not over here. Um, still just gonna run around buildings that have already been looted, and his bounty is now up to a level two bounty. Uh, whoever the guy that is hunting him was probably the oh he's right in front of him here not a sees him is he gonna go in or is he gonna wait for this bounty to expire because it's now a three star bounty so whoever this guy is right here is definitely the guy that has the bounty on my boy nada right here he's gonna go for it nada takes him down so easily my boy nada right here i'm not even gonna lie he could win this game if he wanted to but he likes to play it slow for some reason but i if he does this the whole game, I'm telling you, he could easily win this right now. There is no doubt in my mind that he can win this. This is easy win for Nada right here. With 30 people left, he's only got two kills. Playing a little bit of slow style, looking behind him. There's nobody there at all. Don't know why he's looking behind him. But who knows? I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. My boy Nada over here might have a higher IQ than me. I'm pretty sure he has a higher IQ than me. Um, all the drinkies and smokies, you know, kind of get to me. So he, he knows what he's doing. All right, now we got 25 people left. My boy Nada is camping on top of this roof over here. That's not actually in zone at all. He's actually uh, a good amount of ways from away from zone. He's gonna have to swim into zone, actually. Um, and Nada's not really a good swimmer. Never really learned how to swim. So swimming right here is gonna be a, a very interesting move. I'm curious to see uh, how he's gonna make it across into the zone. For some reason, Nada really thinks there's somebody behind him. So, I mean, I'm not saying he's wrong, but I hear people shooting to his right over here, like right next to him. So, yeah, he's definitely, there's not any people behind you, man, but there is a guy right next to you. And he did, had no idea, but, yep, I don't know how we didn't hear that guy when I just told him he was there. He's gonna stump! Nada, my boy! What are you doing? Nada gets taken down. Actually has a self-revive. The guy's gonna let him self-revive. Uses the stem. So Nada actually has a pretty good, he knows, he kind of knows what he's doing here. I don't know where that other guy just, oh, he's right in front of him. What is going on? Nada, does he go for the kill? Is he gonna go for the kill? I don't even think this guy knows. He did go. Nada gets the melee kill in the water. Three kills now, 11 people left. Nada might actually have this. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm tired of seeing this water. I'm tired of being on the sidelines, boy. I'm passing back to you, Philip. Alright, thank you, Brad, so much for that intel on Nada here. Nada's actually looking like he's gonna get the win here. Still 11 people left. He's got three kills. I don't know how he's gotten these three kills, but my boy Nada's coming out on top somehow. Top 10! Well this is ridiculous. I've never seen Nada perform this well, ever. Like he was saying, apple cider strictly, no alcohol at all. So this man goes strictly off the of sparkling cider here. Um. I have no idea how he's going to take the dub on this one. He's swimming around. There's a guy right next to him. He's going to go up. And he has single fire mode on Nada. Come on, man. Oh, my gosh. We got Piggly Wiggly D. With Piggly Wiggly Dick. We got Piggly Wiggly Dick. With nine kills. Six people now left. Piggly Wiggly Dick. This is going to be an insane end game right here. He's very close, but there is no cover. So this is probably going to be the final zone that everybody has to fight in because there's no cover here. So I don't know who's going to have the upper ground here. We're about to see, though. He's going to reload all of his guns. He's got an HCR and then some sort of LMG. So he does have range. He has very, very, very good range. But close range, I don't know how he's looking here. He might be able to get some shots off with this AR. Crack somebody's shield. I didn't even see that guy. He's going to miss all of his other shots. He's going to hit him for armor one more time. Man, I didn't even see that guy standing right there. Piggly Wiggly Dick, maybe, uh, I think he saw him, man. He really did see him there. He hears him shooting to his left. I hope he does. At least I heard the shooting to his left. So there's people right up there. Right there. Come on. Come on. Sh take your shots, man. Uh, he's too scared to take shots, and now he's going to get shot, and that's how you die right there. He had five. 
billion seconds to take shots on him and didn't now we're spectating my boy spark over here aka the sparky aka the spark master two people left eight kills it is a 1v1 right now we got sparky and one other person he's right there sparky sparky takes the win yeah sparky takes the win let's go all right so my boy sparky just took the win man there is no way Sparky just took the win. Let's get some inside intel. Sparky, how are you feeling right now, buddy? I e it's Sparky here, and I knew I had the dub since the second I was born out the womb, man. It was too easy, bro. Man, man, we're excited that you won. We're so excited that you won, man. Treasure hunter expert at finding loot. My man took a lot of time looting, but congrats, Spark. And see you later, man. He's flying off in that helicopter, going to the Bahamas right now on a all-paid vacation. Congrats, Sparky. What an amazing game there, guys. Um, that was honestly a really a really cool game. We got to spectate through my boy Chad, the Nar Narda 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 Nara Na Nada Nada Na Nada. Something like that, man. Some weird n some weird name. And then we got to spectate uh some Piggly Wiggly Dick. Oh yeah, what a wonderful name. And then we spectated Sparky, my boy, who came out on top. Sparky came out on top. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed this special episode of Spectator Warzone Solos, your favorite game show slash news segment you've ever seen ever. This is the best one right here. Huge thanks real quick to all of my co-hosts that did amazing this entire show. We had an amazing show here, and I hope you guys did enjoy. And without further ado, we'll get on to the next segment here. All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Lemur here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I tried doing something new with a bit of characters just to add a little bit of a spice to the spectating war zones because I kind of just don't like that. Spectating war zones is mainly just you sit there and you watch, and it's kind of boring. I like watching that sometimes on YouTube, but I think it's boring and needed a bit of a spice up, so I'm putting my own spice on it. Hope you guys did like it and enjoyed it, and if you did enjoy how I kind of did it, please let me know in the comment sections and by leaving a like on this video. Anyways, I will see you boys in the next episode. Peace out.